Okay, so in this video, we are going to start looking at creating a small window that um, later on we'll add more functionality to all of this. And we'll also start talking about functions a little bit. So I'm going to put this towards the top of everything here. And I'm going to create a function. To create a function, we have to define it. So that's the EF. Um, I'm going to call this UI for user interface. And then now that I've done that, I can go in and start creating the window. Um, before we create the window, it's a good idea to um, check if the window existed. So we're going to do an if statement here. So if mc dot window and then we'll give it a window a name dice window and then we want to give it a flag that we are using and in this case the flag that we're going to be using is checking if it exists. So ex ISTS and then equals true. So true is a new data type that we haven't talked about yet. Um, true is basically a Boolean value. Um, true and the opposite being false or one and zero. It gives you the ability to check if something is either on or off or true or false. So since this is an if statement, I do have to put a colon at the end and then indent the next line that is going to be part of this code. So we're going to call this um, for what we're going to do is call mc.delete UI and the UI we want to delete is dice window. And once we have done that, we can say mc.window, and we are going to create dice window. Typically, if we want to put anything inside of a window, we have to create some sort of layout. So I'm going to create a column layout, which is a simple way to lay out items inside of your window. So column layout and then let's just put a button for right now it's another command that we can use and um we'll put a flag label is equal to roll uh roll die so now, once we have created the window, we have to make sure that we show it. So mc.show window. And we have to tell it which one we want to show. Uh, dice window. There we go. Now, this in itself won't do anything because we haven't called the function. The function itself, this part that we have here, it only is a set of directions. So we have to, oops, and I forgot, um, open and close parentheses, which are arguments if we have any. In this case, we don't, um, so we leave it empty. Um, but these are just sets of instructions we have to call the function in order to run it. So at this point, after we've done this, it runs the UI command. So I'm going to copy all of this and take it into Maya. Paste and run it. And invalid syntax. So let's see. This have to be a lowercase i, no, it's a capital I. 
Uh, on my app, show window. Let's see if we make this a variable here. Um, dice window. Equals, so we have a variable, and then instead of calling the flag, let's call the dice window like that and see if that works now. Nope. So I'm going to undo that since that seems to work out. Um, here, this is not a string, and it has to be a string. That's probably what the issue is. So let's run this now. And it did create a window, it's just on my other monitor. So let me grab it really quick. There we go. So we have a window called dice window that has a button. Right now it doesn't do anything, but um, it does exist, so I can get rid of that now, and let's make sure that we can actually run all of this as part of that. So let me remove the UI function there and throw it all the way down to the bottom. And I'm going to create another function, which is basically just rolling the die. So, yeah. And it's going to be based off of the button press. So I'm going to say button press and a colon. Then after I've done that, I want all this code that we did for the die roll to be part of that function. That is great. So we have that there. And let's. We haven't told the button what to do yet. So let's put a comma and we'll add another flag. Um, this is going to be command is equal to, and then we put the button press function in there. And we can copy all this and let's try it out again. So we basically made a function out of all the dice roll code that we had before, and we're running it through this uh, button when it's pressed. We're running the button press command, which is the function that we just created. So now we have a syntax error. So let's see if we can find that really quick. Uh, command button press. We created button press. Uh, so let me pause the video and figure out what went wrong, and we'll get back to it in a moment. OK, so the issue was the same one that we had before. I just never saved it in the, um, oops, the uh, notepad++ file. So let's make that into a string and run this. There you go. So now if we push the button, roll the one. So each time it randomizes, it gives us a different value, which is great. So uh, something that would be kind of useful is that we haven't done. So let's go back into Notepad++ and let's fix that little issue we had. And I am going to run one more command here, which is random.seed. And what this function does, it seeds the random value. So it sets a kind of random point um, based off of the time of your computer. So that way, it's a little bit more random than it was before. Um, so let's copy this and make sure that it works. There, and then, cool. It 
seems to be working properly. And that is going to be it for this video. We'll see you guys in the next one.